UEFA General Secretary Johnny Infantino has entered the FIFA presidential race, hours before the deadline. Infantino joins suspended UEFA boss Michel Platini in the bid to replace outgoing President Sepp Blatter, 79. Platini maintains he will stand despite FIFA saying it cannot recognize its vice president's candidacy while his 90-day ban is in place. Asian Football Confederation President Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa has also confirmed his candidacy. The AFC website reported on Monday that Salman told the 47 AFC member associations that his campaign will be entirely self-financed and that he will not use the AFC's resources, human or otherwise, in the election. Blatter, who is also banned, will be succeeded at an election in February. All candidates need the backing of five federations to be put forward for the vote. Infantino is one of nine candidates to say they will stand, with the deadline for applications set at 2300 hours o'clock GMT on Monday. I will in due course be setting out my detailed thinking in a manifesto which will address the challenges and opportunities ahead, said Infantino. It will be based on the need for reform and also for a FIFA that genuinely serves the interests of all 209 national associations, big or small, and that puts football and football development at the top of its agenda. If elected I would lead that change in partnership with all who want to see a FIFA worthy of governing the world's number one sport with dignity and respect. To date, South Africa's Tokyo sex whale, Prince Ali bin Al Hussein of Jordan, former Trinidad and Tobago International David Nakad, former FIFA Deputy General Secretary Jerome Champagne and Liberia FA President Moose Ability have said they have formally submitted their bids. Alongside Sex Whale and Ability, a third African candidate, former Nigerian International Segunid Igbami, has also announced his intention to stand. FIFA has confirmed it will hold the election to determine Blatter's successor at a special congress on February 26, 2016. Swiss Blatter and Frenchman Platini, 60, are suspended while FIFA investigates reports that a £1.35 million payment was made in 2011 for work Platini did as Blatter's advisor. Both men deny any wrongdoing and are appealing against their 90-day bans.